Welcome to the show. Hey everybody, uh, this is the late Kevin Stone. I am your host, Kevin Stone. And I realize that a lot of you, perhaps watching this on YouTube, if anybody actually does, don't know anything about me. So let me explain a couple things about myself so that you can get hip to this thing I'm doing. Uh, my name is Kevin Stone. I have a blog on Tumblr, which is called Hungry Like Kevin, which you can access at hungrylikekevin.com or hungrylikekevin.tumblr.com. It's a blog where I just talk about myself, pop cultural things, sexual fetishes, complaining about things, whatever is going on in my head. I don't do a lot of reblogs. It's all original material about myself. That's what I do. It's just a, a scattershot portrait of what's going on in, uh, in, in Kevin's brain. I'm single. I fuck around with this in my bedroom because I don't have any real hobbies. That's about all you need to know about me. Anything else you can glean from watching these videos or visiting my blog at HungryLikeKevin.com. Anyway. That's about it for me. What does Hungry Like Kevin mean? People ask me that all the time. It means I'm interested in new things. I'm hungry for newness. New movies, new people, new bands, new books. Whatever is new and interesting, experiences, things, restaurants, whatever, I want them. I always want things that are new. I don't listen to a lot of classic rock. I am interested in new music. Um, the only thing that that is not completely pertaining to is movies. I love classic film. But I also love new things. New things. I want the new things. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me that newness. So, uh, in that regard, this, this game, uh, Star Wars Edge of the Empire, which I played for the first time last Sunday, which was yesterday, um, it was really interesting. Uh, it's got a very... A fast and loose uh, game mechanic uh, with the dice that really accurately simulates the feel of being in a Star Wars movie. The mechanics are very quick. They're not bogged down with numbers. It all leads to this very easily resolved kind of space opera vibe. And if you're into Star Wars, I'm not totally into the movies as much as I used to be as a kid, although it has been coming back to me uh, with the uh, episode... Nine Anticipation, Episode 7 Anticipation, but I love coming up with names for the game. For instance, I came up with a, uh, a gentleman named Farg Nito, which is stupid. It's a stupid name, but it is so Star Wars accurate that it kills me. Anyway, that's fun to do. I like to do that. And we had a good time. So that was, uh, I highly recommend if you're into role-playing or into Star Wars, this game. Uh, they also have two other games. One is called Force and Destiny, about Jedi, and one is called Age of Rebellion, about the Rebels. But the books, even though they're thick, cost 60 bucks a piece. So this is the one I recommend getting, Age of the Empire. And this is the one that they have developed the most supplemental material for, because this is the game that everybody wants to play. Um, one complaint about uh, Fantasy Flight games is they are definitely all about the money. These books are expensive. That's 60 bucks, but it's a thick book, like I said. I mean, look at that. It's it's thick and meaty. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't have everything in it uh, that you really need to enjoy the game. Every supplement has more uh, rules, more races, more stuff in it. And it's basically built to make you spend huge wads of cash. And that is uh, not cool. I'm not, I'm not happy with that. But whatever. You know, whatever. Um, it's a fun game, and I enjoy it. Nothing else new is really going on in my life right now, but I'm hungry for more newness. You get it now? You get you get the name now? Um, so if you guys have anything new, a new band, a new uh, thing, I like uh, metal, hard rock, hip-hop, uh, almost any genre that exists. I'm not super in the country, but I like the traditionalists, like uh, Sergio Simpson and his ilk. 
So if you have any good country stuff, you know, throw that at me too. Throw whatever you want to down in the comments because I like the new stuff. The new, the new, new to me. Not necessarily new, new to the world at large. Anyway, yeah. So that's what I am. That's who I am. So now you know where I came from. Actually, I actually don't know where I came from. I am from Oregon. I was born here in Eugene, Oregon. I've spent a few years in Nevada and a few years in Utah, but I am back in Oregon, and I consider myself an Oregonian to the core. Very liberal politically, very much a part of this weird community we have here. I call myself a Portlander, even though I live in Aloha, which is a little town that's not even incorporated that is outside of Portland, but I'm close enough to claim it as my hometown. That's good enough. If you want to know anything else about me, what I'm trying to do with this uh, show, or uh, anything you want to ask me in general, send me or post in the comments below or send to my uh, Tumblr inbox that question and I will answer it in a future episode. This is a short one because it's just all about myself and I don't like to talk about myself actually. So you guys have a great day. We'll be back to more weirdness and funny stuff uh, tomorrow. So bye bye. The late Kevin Stone is brought to you by the lonely view outside your bedroom window that you stare out all day long like a sick child.